Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're going to go over an interesting angle chasing trick that will make your lives easier if you ever need to chase some angles. So uh, this trick begins with uh, an arrow, or a pencil, or some other directional device, and we sweep over the angles, each of the angles like this. So first we sweep over the first angle, and then we sweep over the second angle, and then we sweep over the third angle and we bring the arrow back to its original place. So notice that when, when we did all this, our, air, the, our arrow went from this direction to this direction, turning a net total of 180 degrees. What this trick tells us is that because it turns 180 degrees, sweeping over each of the angles, the sum of the angles adds up to 180. And indeed, we know this is true, as the sum of the angles of a triangle always add to 180. So that's pretty cool. Let's try on a quadrilateral now. We start with the arrow facing this way, then we sweep the first angle, second angle, third angle, fourth angle, and find that the arrow has turned a total of 360 degrees. And this tells us that some of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees, which we know is also true. So let's try this on an actual problem now. We have two parallel lines and two line segments that form angles of 43 and 60 degrees with these parallel lines respectively. And we have to find the degree measure of the angle that these two line segments form. So how should we go about doing this? Well, we can use this angle chasing trick to first sweep the 43 degrees like so. Now we sweep over the question mark. However, this is a little special because Sweeping over the question mark is sweeping in the opposite direction of sweeping the 43. So instead of adding that angle, we subtract the angle. And finally, we sweep the 60 degrees and we add that angle together. So what was the total net change here? Well, we kind of went back and forth, like back, forth, back. But the net change was in fact 0 degrees. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if we start with sweeping 43 degrees, and then sweep in the opposite direction, question mark degrees, and finally sweep 60 degrees, this should equal zero, the net turning of the arrow. And solving for the question mark, we get that it's equal to 103 degrees, so we're done with this problem. As a note here, the standard way that they would teach you to solve this problem would be to draw a line here and use alternate interior angles to find this is 43, this is 60. So the question mark adds up to 103 degrees, which is exactly as we'd expect from this arrow chasing trick. So finally, let's end with a, a very seemingly impossible problem, where we have this totally random figure, two parallel lines, and these random angles, random line segments, and we have to find the value of a plus b. It seems almost an impossible task if you were to solve this using standard techniques, but let's try to do it with this angle chasing trick and it will show us its real power. So we start with the arrow pointing, uh, pointing this way and uh, we sweep 61 degrees. So let's just keep track of this. We start with 61 degrees and then we sweep A degrees in the opposite direction. So we subtract A. Then we sweep 120 degrees. Add 120. And so on. We sweep B degrees in the opposite direction and 74 degrees in positive direction, giving minus B plus 74. And what was the net change? Well, we started over here, and over like a series of reversals and like turnings, we end up turning 180 degrees. So this should equal 180 degrees. So now we can solve for A and B. We add A and B to both sides, and we subtract 180. And we get A plus B equals 61 degrees, plus 120 degrees, plus 74 degrees, minus 180, which should give out to be, well, 61 plus 120 minus 180 
this should be equal to, oh, what, this is 121, sorry. Almost didn't catch that. This is 121. So 61 plus 121, that's 182, minus 180, that's 2, plus 74, that's 76 degrees. So now we solve that A plus B is equal to 76 degrees, totally painlessly. And so this is the actual power of this interesting little arrow spinning trick. Hi guys, Zong here, back with another math video. Uh, today we're going to be doing the world's hardest, easiest geometry problem. 